Welcome to Audit Archive, where we run you through some of the most questionable and rather atrocious police encounters. Today, we're looking at a case where a power-tripping police chief arrested a young man three times in a row for simply recording inside a public facility. The chief later paid the price for his tyranny. Sometime in October 2023, an auditor from the channel First Amendment Protection Agency made his way down to the New Ellington City Hall in South Carolina and entered the police department section of the building to exercise his freedom of recording on public property. Unfortunately, this freedom was very quickly snatched by a power-tripping police chief who shamelessly abused his power and misquoted the law countless times. We're about to look at this encounter through the police chief's body cam, which was activated soon after the auditor stepped inside the building. What are you in the middle of? Recording. Recording. Oh, you want the history of New Ellison? I'm sorry? You want the history of New Ellison? Uh, maybe a little bit of it. Wherever I can find in the public areas in here, yeah. Okay, there's a library over there and give you all of it. Okay, thank you. I did see that actually when I pulled up. Okay. Taking 200. 200. Show me out at uh, my police department with a gentleman who is recording on the inside of the building. No, sir. Are you? Restricted area. That's it. Where does it say that? Okay. Yeah, where I okay. Sir, if you don't mind, please no, exit. I didn't that. Exit, please. No, thank you. I'm only going to give you one more opportunity. And then what's going to happen? Okay. Right off the bat, the police chief, namely Sean Middleton, confronted the auditor by first questioning him about what he was doing and why he was recording inside the building. Immediately after this, he informed dispatch about the auditor, which is hysterical because there was no crime committed whatsoever made no sense to advise any of that to dispatch. But anyway, Chief Middleton has now escalated the situation by explicitly ordering the auditor to exit the building. Here we have a few things that must be addressed before we continue watching the footage. First of all, let's begin with one of the most basic rights given to every citizen of the United States. The First Amendment makes it crystal clear that every citizen has the right to freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and the right to peacefully assemble. These rights extend to the public recording of government officials, including police officers, in the performance of their duties. Recording inside a public building, such as a police station or city hall, is undoubtedly legal and protected under the First Amendment. To provide further backing, bear in mind that a public property refers to any property that is meant for public use and is owned by the government, not individuals or groups of people. A police station is public property from the definition given above. It's owned by the state or the government and is meant to serve the public, obviously making it a public property. And when it comes to a city hall, it goes without saying that it is also public property from the same definition. Anyway, things now become outrageous as Chief Middleton tries to physically kick the auditor out. Exit the building. No, thank you. All right. I'm not, as soon as I'm done. Come on, sir. Uh, the, please. I, I, excuse me. Please. Excuse me. Please Let's exit, please. Me. Please don't touch me. Let's exit, please. Please do not touch me. Let's exit. Please don't touch me. Let's exit, please, please sir. Can I, can I sir, have your I don't, badge number? I'm Chief Middleton. Okay. My badge number is 200. Okay. Then, so why are you, you can please exit. Are you putting your hands on me? I'm going to exit you out of the building. Okay. No, you're okay? not. First I'm not assaulting right you. Now. I'm not doing anything. I want to escort you out of the building. You didn't. You didn't no, I did not assault you. Okay. No, I did not. So assault comes with any type of aggressive behavior. No, that's. I grabbed your arm and did this. not assault Just like this. Let's go. That's unnecessary okay. battery. Sir, please, exit our building. This is enough. No, thank you. I'm going to walk by now. You're not going to walk by. So why are you, okay. why are you doing this? This is, a, this is the police. I do have a body cam, and it is recorded. So why are you okay? talking? And, uh, over Sir, please, hours. don't make this something more than what it is, okay? I'm sure, I, I didn't say a word to you. You came up to me and put your what, hands on what me. Is your, what is your agenda here? What is my agenda? That's right. What are you I, doing? I need to tell you. You say you were doing history. So you record that, record that, That's you can go to the library. I need to give you, right? Okay. That's already more information than I need to give you. Okay. Sir, you're making this more difficult than what it is. And so are you okay. at the very same time. No, it's not. All right. <laughs> no, it's if not. If you don't mind, I would like for you to exit this building. I do. I already okay. did that like four times. All right. As we all know, police officers are not above the law. When they make errors or cross the line into illegal conduct, they can be held accountable for their wrongdoings. Here, Chief Middleton has used physical force against an innocent man exercising his constitutional rights, and this was a textbook case of police misconduct. There was no reason for Chief Middleton to even touch the auditor, let alone push him with force. Note that a police officer can only touch you if they are doing so in the course of executing their duty. This could be if they have reasonable suspicion to arrest you. However, Chief Middleton was not executing his duty since his job is to prevent crime and enforce the law. In this case, there was no crime that would need his enforcement of the law. 
plus absolutely no reasonable suspicion to arrest the auditor. But as you will see, things take a turn for the worse. But really quickly, this is a good time to mention the fact that the auditor indeed had every right to remain silent and refuse to answer any questions posed by the chief. In general, you do not have to talk to law enforcement officers, even if you do not feel free to walk away from the officer, or you are arrested, or you are in jail. You cannot be punished for refusing to answer a question. It is a good idea to talk to a lawyer before agreeing to answer questions. Now back to the footage. You want to arrest? Sir, 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 okay. sir, sir. Now you're trespassing I, okay. on public property. Look, <laughs> trespassing on public property? Yes, public I gave you, I gave you. Trespassing on public property. Do you guys see this? Do you guys yes, see sir. this? I gave you plenty of opportunity, sir. Okay. I want you to think about what you're doing right now. No, you're making things more difficult I, than I what it is. Think about what you're doing. I would like for you to exit the building. Okay. But you're, what you're doing is you don't want to exit the building. Okay? Correct. I already told you that. You're recording in here. Yep. Okay? Yep. You said you're recording for history. Your history is there. Okay. Okay? Okay. This is the police department. Yep. All right? Absolutely. So now what? Now where are we gonna take this? This gonna go on the outside. It'll be fun for you. <laughs> and then you're gonna leave. No, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I ain't going anywhere. I'm gonna step right back in as soon as you take these cups off of me because you know you're making a mistake right now. You know you're making a mistake. I asked you to exit and you did not exit. Look, this is gonna be a illegal, illegal search and seizure. Right? It's not a legal search and seizure. Oh, why is that? Because I don't have to search you. you. you because I detained you because so you can you get out of my building. My phone. Is that what you you detained me you to phone. get out of your building? To get you out of my building. You know, you were you were at the football game a couple weeks ago. You know I surely was. A mistake, my man. Thank you for taking the cups off me. And I copy Appreciate that. Have a good day, sir. Yes, sir. Go to the floor. He's gonna come right try to come right back in. I'm not gonna let this guy in. We're gonna lock this building. You got the key? You got the key? You heard it from the chief. As ridiculous and hysterical as it sounds, Chief Middleton officially placed the auditor under arrest for trespassing on public property. That's right, trespassing on public property. A high-ranked law enforcement officer just said that. Under the South Carolina Code of Laws, Title 15, Civil Remedies and Procedures, it's made clear that trespasser means a person who enters or remains on the land of another without permission or without legal privilege. The definition is enough to prove that Chief Middleton had unlawfully placed the auditor under arrest, illegally dragged him out of a public building, and then tried to lock the city hall doors. Chief Middleton's actions had violated yet another one of the auditor's constitutional rights, the Fourth Amendment, which protects against unreasonable searches and seizures. Now, in legal terms, a seizure is exactly what we just saw, an officer placing someone in handcuffs to detain or arrest them. What makes this incident far worse is the fact that Chief Middleton suddenly let the auditor go even though he had officially arrested him, meaning that he abused his authority by making an arrest to fulfill an unlawful purpose. Back up, please, sir. No, thank you. We're For closed. What? No, you're not. Back up. No, you're not. Back you're up, not sir. Closed. No, thank you. We're not playing this. I'm no, not playing I, this I, with I, you. No. Back up, sir. No, please, you can't put your foot there. You, you cannot put, put your, your foot there to restrict Dude, this. You are, he, congratulations, sir, please. sir. Hey, I just want to tell you something. Congratulations. You just earned the state of South Carolina a humongous lawsuit. Sir, humongous. please. Humongous. You guys see this. I have to fight this man right now. I have to fight this man. You guys see this? Congratulations. Hey, for? Congratulations. Sir, you please. Yourself and the state of please South Carolina, a huge, exit the area. Humongous lawsuit. Please exit humongous. the area. Humongous. Please. Humongous. This is what you want. You. This is what you, you want. You want to come in here and make that. You just let me walk by. No, do I don't suggest anything. Go about your day. Okay? That's what I would suggest to you. Okay? Does she have the, uh, no, sir. No, sir. You guys see this? No, sir. Please exit the building. Or what? You're trespassing. No, I'm not. Okay? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Please the exit the building. The reason why I'm still not in cuffs right now is because you know it's not true. No, 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 no. The reason why you're yeah, not yeah, in cuffs is yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I gave you an opportunity. An opportunity okay? for what? An opportunity to exit when I told okay, well, you I'm to exit. I'm giving you an opportunity okay? right now to not break the law. Okay. Okay? Please leave, sir. No, thank you. Please leave. No, thank you. Hey, Georgia, can you get me a deputy over here? You're the chief. What do you need a deputy for? 
Deputies know the law better Sir, than please, you. exit our building. No. Do you have the lock? I mean, the... Uh... Unfortunate. My dad's going to love to hear this. My dad is going to love to hear this. He's going to love it. Sir, do not step in. Look at this. Ow. Ow. Sir, do not Ow, step in, please. Ow. No one is hurting you. Please, exit the building. Why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like anyway, sir. So, the only reason you're not doing what you think you can do right now is because you know that you Thank can. Thank you, Maria. You know that you cannot. You know you can't. That's the reason why I'm not on the ground. Give me an opportunity. Give me a reason on why you want to record in here. You said because of history, right? You said you want to record That's history. already more information than I right? Okay, then I don't have to give you any information. Sir, I didn't okay? ask you for any. <laughs> I did not once ask you for any. Sir, if you don't mind, please exit the building. And again, we'll go for the circular conversation. No. No thank you. Okay. That's fine. Okay, let's do it again. Let's you want do it a lawsuit? Again, boys. Get a lawsuit. Let's do it again, boys. Other hand, please. Other hand, please. For what? Okay. Here we go, guys. Taking 200. I got one detained. Got the smile. Let's try again. <laughs> and here we have it. Chief Middleton, after failing to stop a member of the public from entering a public building, has arrested the auditor for the second time. This time, it definitely goes without saying that Chief Middleton had exposed himself as a complete tyrant for overstepping his authority as a servant of the public. But this doesn't stop here, as you will see. Hey, you know, I'm gonna give you a personal thank you. You just became my new best friend. I didn't know you that well before, but now you really are, and not just, not in jest, you are my new personal best friend. You are my new Let's personal best right. friend. So why am I not going to the, uh, have a seat. The county? No, I'm good. Have a seat, please. No, thank you. And I'm actually not going here, because there are no cameras in here. Oh, there's a there's a body camera right here. I don't care. I don't okay. trust you or your. Okay, that's fine. Camera. Where you want to sit? You want to sit back here? No, I want to sit right here. Go ahead, sit right here. <clears throat> well, at least this is more cordial. I'd rather this. Right, that's fine. I know. It's not going to be fine for you. <laughs> that's fine, as well. Say goodbye to your qualified immunity. That's fine, as well. Okay. That's unfortunate, man. How many, how long you been doing this? You wanna just take the cuffs off me? I might give you an opportunity. No. I might give you an opportunity. You in the state of South Carolina. I just okay, want to man. do it. If you don't mind, just have a seat right no, here for me. I do. So what do you want to do at this point? I'm, I already told you, I'm standing right here. Talking okay, to you. Well, that's fine, stand right there then. Perfect. time you off today? Nah, I didn't think so. Can you fix my sunglasses for me because you got rude, like, rudely mess them up? Can you just push them off my face for a second? No, can't help me out. Don't want to touch me again? I don't think so. So now that we're best friends, how's your day going? Anymore? You had like a rough morning this hey, morning? You wake up on the wrong side of the bed or something? Okay. No. Are they requesting Who is this to you? Is this your son or something? Hopefully not. I wouldn't want to be teaching my son that. You're not going to teach him much of anything anymore because your qualified immunity is gone. It's gone. It's unfortunate. I didn't think I would be able to get you with it. I really didn't think so. That's crazy. My dad's going to love to hear it. Dexter will too. They want to meet with Ed Buford. Hilarious. Hilarious. He will think this whole thing is hilarious. And I do too. I'm loving it. This is great. By the way, I want the uh, I need a foyer request on the uh, body cam. After this, whenever you want to get that for me. Sound good? Am I free to go? No. No? You're not. I'm not. How come? 
So now you're not going to tell me why you're I'm detained. Not going to go. For what? No, you don't want to tell me anything or why you want to be here or detained? anything like that. For what reason okay. am I detained? No, not for okay. trespassing. For, on okay. what? Trespassing. Trespassing. Okay. That's right. I've asked you to leave several times. You would why, not leave. Why did you ask okay. me to leave? Why did you ask me to leave? Sir, you're not going to win this. I've been. I'm sure you got a, a lot of calls about me, and this is <laughs> that's unfortunate. And 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 that's 100 percent fine. Okay. That's crazy. And that's 100 percent fine. That's crazy. Okay. I can't even believe it. It's you. Wow. I didn't think I would get you. Okay. This is gonna be a fun one. So you're just gonna continue to make this worse for you in the state of South Carolina? Who are you? What is your purpose? You can call me good citizen. Okay. And Before what you is your purpose me? here within the city of New Ellington? Well, as of right now, I'm talking to you. Okay. So you're talking you're to me. Detained. Okay. With handcuffs on. You're in trouble. Okay. And you know it. That's fine. And you know it. That's fine. So I'm just going to sit here as long as you want me to sit here. That's fine. You know, Aiken is the fastest group. Can you, can you please push my sunglasses no, up? No, I'm not going to push your sunglasses up. Is my phone over there? Give me that, uh, not that one, the other one. No, the other one. I appreciate it. So are you gonna are you gonna legally or illegally seize my phone right now or can I have that? No, you can have your phone. Thank you. Appreciate that. There you go. Thanks. Now he's starting to backpedal a little bit. So are you gonna take the cuffs off me? Or are we gonna backpedal that far? Or no. No, I'm not gonna take the cuffs off you. You're detained. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, yes, I am. I'm sorry, I misspoke. At this point, the auditor has been illegally detained for an unnecessary amount of time. Chief Middleton appeared to be waiting for absolutely nothing, just standing there with the auditor, probably thinking about how he just put himself in such a ridiculous situation that's not in his favor, not even a single bit. We can even assume that he's trying to figure out what to do next now that he's dug such a deep hole for himself. What's interesting is that there's another way to look at this detainment now. Every second that the auditor is held detained in handcuffs is another big chunk of money costing the city of New Ellington in what is becoming a solid lawsuit. Anyway, Chief Middleton suddenly comes up with the idea of calling a judge and asking them what to do in this ridiculous situation he's put himself in. Well, guys, we are here in the uh, New Ellington. How do you know? What is this? I love how you took the badge off. It's crazy. This is crazy, man. You're in deep, deep, brother, brother. I don't even want to call you, brother. Hey, got a question for you. I have a gentleman here. This gentleman. Is this your son? Don't go in my office. Why is that? That's not my son. So step back over yeah, here. Yeah, I'm sure it's not. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to. I got a uh, gentleman here in the office who wants to record. So people, he knows. <laughs> and I've told him several times to get out of my building. He is claiming that he has the right to come in here and record. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, at the police department. Congratulations, my friend. That's sad that you do not know your own laws as a chief. Uh -huh. As a chief, you are, you are to my friend. You're dismissed as well. I'm gonna walk away now. You're buddy. Okay, one second. Please. Excuse me, don't stop touching me. Gotcha. Stop touching okay. me right well, now. Well, I'd undetain him and we go for Oh, no, there we go. Oh, undetained. Dude, you better, you better get, you better, you better get people here, man. You better get people here. You better. Illegally detained, and look at that, the backpedaling went so far as the cuffs go. That's right, I explained to him that he was trespassing, I no longer wanted him recording this. into the this office. Of force, the ridiculous, the ridiculous amount of force put on these cuffs. Ridiculous amount of force, look at this. Dude, you're in trouble. You are in so much trouble, and I love it. And that's what he you was doing, so he was using the phone pretty much where there was business. And what is the signage for? Okay. Sorry you guys missed that. That was probably about 10 minutes of uh, me being illegally detained and uh, held against my will, asking to be let go, gotcha. being hurt in the process. Oh, I can't even breathe correctly. That's right. I just like, crushed my ribs in between okay. his hand and the door. Gotcha. And I have uh, red marks on my wrists. Yeah, and, that, and that's what he did. I told him he was detained. Uh, or what the case may be, and I'm like, dude, you're about to go to jail because what the case may be. And you can hear him. Hey, you cannot curse in this building. I can. I can say whatever the I 
want, want to you. I can say right, whatever the want to you. Uh, I'm going to detain him, Judge. There we go and he's again. arrested. All right. Here we go again. Let's go, baby. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. All right. This is a, a building you cannot curse. No, I can't. It's door, disorderly conduct. No, it's okay? No, it's not. No. Let's go, baby. Two different cases now. Two. Two different cases. All right. First Amendment. So, are you gonna are you gonna illegally? Yeah, this is. You're gonna illegally is, seize my phone again. No, I'm not again. illegally seizing anything. Okay, right. here we go. See you later, guys. Have fun. Good. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't think today was a day, and not even you, man. I'm 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 very happy, but I'm kind of. Well, as we've just witnessed, Chief Middleton was apparently told by the judge he was speaking to that it made no sense to detain or arrest a person for simply recording inside a police department. For this reason, the auditor was initially removed from handcuffs, but soon again placed in them for a very, very severe reason, cussing. If it isn't obvious by now, cussing is not a crime at all, especially when inside a public building. We've discussed the First Amendment and how it gives everyone the freedom of speech. This freedom includes verbally expressing your feelings, regardless of the language used. Generally, cursing in public is not an illegal offense. However, there are some instances where you still could be charged with disorderly conduct when cursing. This includes if your language incites violence, if your language incites illegal activity, if you are shouting threats, if your profanity draws a crowd or warrants a threat to public safety, then you could face disorderly conduct charges. Clearly, the auditor did not meet the criteria to be arrested for disorderly conduct, yet he was now being escorted to a patrol vehicle that would take him straight to jail. I'm kind of disappointed, man. I really, I, I had so much respect for you. So much respect for you. So much. So much respect. It's not gone. I actually, I, I love it. I love you right now, actually. There you go. Have a seat I'm so happy. Time. Oh my goodness. Have a seat, please, sir. I feel threatened right now. I really feel like this. How? You can show me around to that welfare check. So none of these are lawful orders, so I'm not going to listen. So use, you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Like. For disorderly conduct. Use force. Okay. If you'd like. Let's try to. Stop no, I'm not going to use force. No, I know okay. you're not. I know you're not. So if you don't mind, please have a seat I in do. the car. Again, I do. And again, I want that FOIA request. You will get a FOIA request. You will get the video. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Here, buddy. Okay, man. Have a seat. No. Use force. To put me in there. I'm not going to use force to push you. I didn't you think in. so. I didn't okay. Think so. I didn't think you were. That's why I'm going to stand right here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You know you are in so much deep shit right now, dude. This is why you've backpedaled time and time and time again. And it's all on camera. And, and that's 100% fine. Camera, and that's 100% fine. See you okay. later. And you got you but got. But you cannot you cannot cuss. You cannot cuss. Back because of COVID. Mm -hmm. and just got back pay for almost a year and a half to two years and you're that, that's unfortunate that's unfortunate it's already cost so many states so much money and you're just adding to it man okay that's you're fine just adding to it. okay that's sad this is unfortunate what's up guys what time is it? sir you're under arrest for disorderly oh, conduct at least the phone is still recording there we go you're under arrest for disorderly conduct so please have a seat okay, in the video put me in the car then Use some force and put me in the car. I'm not going to use force. I to did put you not in the think car. so. Once again, okay. circular conversation. You are you are a grown man. Circu yes. You can get I'm in a this grown car. Man that's making okay. my own decisions. That's and right. I'm not you are. Get in this car unless I'm forced in there. Okay. So why don't you do it? If I'm you not going to force you to get I, in. Again, there. circular okay. conversation. Didn't think so. Didn't think so. I suggest you just take the f cuffs off now, and you walk away and go about your day. Because you're already. F begin with. You no, know what's messed up is you're here provoking things. No, I did, I did things, not say a word okay? to you. You came up to me That's right. and caused a problem. I got a call you're about you up there the recording right. in business. Yes. There is business that's going on in that window. Right. And, and, and you're recording am I? in am that I building. Am I in restricted areas? Okay. Am I in restricted areas? You're you recording you know in your that restricted area. that you're here to enforce. Okay. This is a sad day. A okay. sad day for New Orleans. Okay, sir. A sad day for the state of South Carolina, man, but a happy day for me. You're going to bring a lot of publicity to this town now. That's fine. So be prepared for your okay. face to be on the map everywhere. Ultimately, it remains unclear whether the auditor was booked into jail or not, but what's for sure is that Chief Middleton was reportedly forced to resign just a few days after this incident.
As of the date of this recording, he is no longer part of the New Ellington Police Department. Be sure to check out our previous video, where we cover another outrageous police encounter.